What up, guys? Annie Tia Guild Forever. We're going to be reviewing uh, uh, e uh, Eden Zero. I was about to say Re Zero again. What the fuck? Re Zero episode chapters 29, 30, 31, 32. Now, I will say this. Now, in my reaction, I was talking something known as a manga juggle. So, this is how it works. Let me know what you guys think. Manga juggle is something will, that will appear depending on the like ratio. So, for example, Eden Zero. If this video, this review slash redirect video, gets a certain amount of likes, then we will have manga juggle again the following week. The most I would get out of manga juggle is like maybe once a week, determine depending on the likes. But anyway, so this is how it goes. If this video gets I was going to say 15, but I feel like that's a bit too much. I don't know. So let's say 10 likes. If this video can get 10 likes, I can guarantee Manga Juggle will appear once the following week. If this video can get 15 likes, I can guarantee that next week Eden Zero will appear again. But if this doesn't reach 15 likes... I'll just guarantee that I'll be reacting to a manga based on what I've reacted so far already. I'll react to them the following week. But again, if we can't even reach 10 likes, then Manga Jungle won't even appear the following week to begin with. So yeah, that's how it works. So this is a chance for others that have been missing my Eden Zero reactions, my uh, Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest reactions. Black Butler, uh, Katsuki no Yuna. Those, I think, are the four main mangas I'm reading right now. But, yeah, so if you guys want to see those mangas appear more, make sure you like it. Camera, can you freaking focus? Thank you. Focus, camera. So, yeah. If um if this video can just get 10 likes, just, just 10 likes, it will appear, Manga Juggle will appear once the next week. So on and so forth. So yeah, if you guys want to see more manga on the channel, this is the best way to do it. As for when the manga jungle will appear, it could be any time. It's up to me. All I can guarantee is that it will appear the following week. And if it gets more likes than usual, which is like 15 again, then I can guarantee this specific manga will appear the next week. Alright? So that's how it works. If you guys want to see more of this or just manga jungle in general, that's how it works. It's another adaption I'm adding to, a, or I, I, maybe adaption isn't the right word. It's a, a separate branch off to anime juggle. So there's anime juggle and there's manga juggle. Two little things I invented. Hopefully this does well as anime juggle. It looks like anime juggle is doing very well. I love that you guys. I love to see that you guys really like this program. It, it's something that I just thought of on a whim, but it looks like it's putting in some good numbers. So yeah, um, keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Um, so uh, revolving around Eden Zero. First and foremost, Pinyo in her in her human form, the most adorablest thing ever. Facts. If someone can get me like a like a colored version of that, I would be very much well thankful. I need Pino in my life, like dead on, dead ass serious. So yeah, we're. It looks like now they're embarking on another new adventure. They just finished their little um, the whole inc incident with uh, the planet Gilts. The one where they had to deal with the criminal planet. Um, Rebecca became famous. They were originally going to head down Grand Bell, but it didn't happen. Not was it Grand Bell or Garden Blue? I forgot. Blue Garden or which whatever when it was. But she became too famous, so now she's gonna lay low. Instead, they decided to go to um, first. It was Iron Hill where they discovered one of the four shining stars, who is Hermit. And I'm not gonna lie to you. The first time I heard the name Hermit, I just thought of some. I thought it was a guy character, but it turns out to be a girl. It just feels weird giving a girl character the name Hermit. Unless she turned into a frog or something. I don't know. I just felt like that was a weird name. As for why they gave her that name, I don't know. Maybe they'll ex they'll explain it. 
And then it was told that this chap, this arc was going to be sadistic based on the narrator of this manga. Um, I'm scared. All I know is Homura and Wise, you guys are a damn mess. Homura, I, I already know why she turned herself into a guy. Like, I mean, I kind of get it. I kind of don't. Wise... I already know. I'm a dude. I already know how he thinks. He just wants to feel up some girls. So yeah, that's why. Wise, you are by far the biggest creeper in this whole dang show. I know there's a bunch of other creepers, but a dude that picks a female avatar so he can grow up her titty, like, it can't get any creepier than that. Come on now. That's flat out weird. Why is there such a weirdo? Uh, Rebecca's fine. Humoro is whatever. It's pretty much the same reason as why it's except not as creepy. Uh, Shiki just wanted to look stronger. Buddy, look, you want to be stronger. I get you. I get you. But you only look stronger, not necessarily are stronger. But I like that he went back to his old hairstyle when he first, when we first saw him in the first chapter of Eden Zero. He looks, he literally looks like. A combat he looks like a very young Gajil. I don't know when I see him I just see a very young Gajil, which I'm cool with it I, li I, li I like his hair longer. Well, I like him with short or longer hair. They're both fine to me um, And now we t it sucks that we didn't really get to see anything related to her until like literally when she's like in this like suspended animation state and toward the end of the volume when she says something like Ziggy you're a liar even though machines may have hearts humans don't I don't know what she meant by that maybe something happened to her maybe something happened to her that made it like made her like this maybe it's the loss of grandpa maybe that he's gone that she's become like this who knows I'm sure we'll get to know more as to like um why this happened in in the later chapters but also let us reward ourselves with that we have finished our fourth book of eden zero and i'm not gonna lie to you this series is awesome it definitely needs an anime and i will say this when the anime comes out because facts i already know the anime is gonna come out but even though I know the anime comes out and I feel and some people are like, well, you should have waited for the anime. That way you can do reactions to the anime and like, you know, not be spoiled. Or any You know what? There's a difference between reading and manga and animated form. Animated form, I get to hear the voices. I get to see the effects. And who knows? They may even add filler. And some fill so a lot of people don't like fillers. Me, I'm OK with anime having fillers as long as they're good. Fairy Tale had some pretty good fillers. Some meh. Actually, most of them were kind of meh. I think the only filler that I really did like was the Stateller. Wendy, uh, Wendy. Uh, Lucy's doll that manifested. Uh, Michelle, Michelle. I think that was her name. That arc, I love that arc. I freaking love that arc. That was an amazing arc to me. That to me was the best arc in the whole. Uh, not not I was about uh, not the whole anime. No, that was the best arc out of all the fillers, in my opinion. The celestial spirit arc, in my opinion, should have been the best one, but it's kind of meh. But either way, um, yeah, getting off topic. Um. We'll see what's going to go down because now they have this mass murder known as Jimmy Love, Ginny Love, 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 Jam, Jammy Love, Jammy Love, Jammy Love, something like that. He's a mass murder that low key on a very low key. His face reminds me of the Joker from DC. <laughs> Am I the only one that thinks this dude looks like the Joker? Like he looks just like him. Just with a bit younger scythe looking thing but honestly joker with the scythe just feels right he just looks like a really good joker just give him green hair red lipstick white skin boom joker call it 
Um, but yeah, and now they're about to fight him. And it looks like they're about to be finally become involved with uh, the group known as the Arashion Seis. Yeah, we already know where they got that from. But uh, yeah, so the group, the uh, Arashion Seis. And I'm not going to lie, this guy forgot his name, his full name. But I think one part of his name is called Joe. Draken Joe. There you go. That's his name, Draken Joe. Low key, his face gives me an, a, cobra, a cobra vibe. He kind of gives that Cobra vibe up to me. Just more rugged and masculine. Cobra looked more edgy at best. Because this guy looks like an older Cobra. My opinion. But yeah. Um, I can't wait to see we find what we find out next. Right now, the group is going to handle this mass murder-looking Joker look-alike. And then after that, hopefully, we get to see more interaction between the crew. <sighs> Excuse me. The crew and uh, Hermit. Because they're very close. They know where she is now. And it looks like she's not moving from that spot anytime soon. So, yeah. With that said in mind, we will get an interaction between the crew and, and uh, Hermit soon, which I cannot wait to see. She low-key looks like a very serious Wendy. She looks a whole lot of like Wendy. Just more serious. Slightly different hair color, but for the most part, Wendy. Even the hairstyle is similar. I feel like she would have looked less like Wendy if... Look, if you really want her to have a ponytails, at least have them look different from Wendy's, you know? But still, it's fine. It's whatever. I don't care. I feel like... In it of itself, them having resemblance to previous work that Hiro Mashima did, like Wendy, uh, Natsu, Grey. I feel like the resemblance gives it a bit of charm. You know what I mean? I feel like that gives it charm because it'd be like, hey, she looks like a... Like, it makes us fall in love with the character. It makes us like the character a bit easier now since we're used to how they're... they're we're used to their counterparts in previous series. So, yeah. In my opinion, I'm cool with it. I like it. I don't think it's that bad. I saw quite a few people like complaining an awful lot about it. When in my opinion, it is very unnecessary. It is not a huge deal. The story is not the same. The, the characters, some are similar, but for the most part, they're all different. There is no real similarity other than design-wise. And even then, it's like... It's still in and of itself its own thing. I, when it comes to Eden Zero, I'm not going to lie to you. I get a massive sci-fi vibes out of it. And I love it. I love sci-fi series slash movies. So this... Well done. So yeah. Um, I'm just going to dip into the questions. Question, question one. This is just me. People. Mech Pino or Human Pino? Take your picks. Let it let the war happen. <laughs> Which is it gonna be? I'm sorry, I'm siding with human pino. That girl look adorbs as mm. not not in not in a preferred way, so calm your shits. I mean like you know, adorable. But yeah, so mech pino or human pino. Let me know. And this is coming from a mech fan. I love the human counterpart more. Mech one is still adorbs, but human Anyway, question two. Um, question two. Okay. Um... Question two. If you had to pick an avatar for Shinji from previous works of, Ma of Mashima, because they always do that, what would it be and let me know why? Random, kind of simple, I know, but I curious. So yeah, um, that's it for me, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, sub if you haven't already. Really motivates me to put more content out there for you guys as my guildmates, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.